The world is full of good news. The following are just a few. The German Development Bank donates 47 million euros to Mozambique for raising education standards and providing better access to schooling, especially for women, in efforts to strengthen social and economic development through higher learning. To help develop peaceful industries in Afghanistan, the U.S. Department of Defense is donating a 1 million U.S. dollar contract for two facilities where Afghans can perform the final stages of traditional carpet preparation rather than having to send to another country. Citing insufficient evidence for his continued detainment at the Guantanamo facility, U.S. District Judge Henry H. Kennedy Jr. orders that Yemeni national Adnan Farhan Abdel Latif be freed. Mexico's Supreme Court rules that same-sex couples in Mexico City may adopt children as one of the privileges of marriage, while Germany's top court rules that inheritance rights for registered same-sex couples are the same as those for married couples. The Anti-Cruelty Society of Chicago, Illinois, USA shares suggestions to help safeguard precious canine friends during the extreme heat with tips such as providing cool resting areas, fresh water, and walking dogs when temperatures are lower. The Museum of Islamic art in Cairo, Egypt, the world's largest such venue with over 100,000 items, announces its September reopening to the public following a 10 million US dollar restoration. Japanese beverage manufacturers affirm the growing popularity of alcohol and sugar-free beer-flavored beverages such as the product All Free, which has been consistently selling out in stores across Japan. After more than 10 years of enduring a disabling heart muscle disease, Australian Angelo Tigano benefits from receiving the first ever total artificial heart implant in the Southern Hemisphere at Sydney's St. Vincent's Hospital in Australia. Moved to tears because of their plight, a Mr. Rodriguez of Florida, USA, helps save the family of Chihuahua dogs abandoned on a roadside by bringing them to the local Humane Society. Thailand's government lifts a state of emergency in place since April in the provinces of Chiang Mai, Chiang Rai, and Ubon Ratchatani thanks to emerging peace in the region.